Hello guys, let's discuss uh, a call questions from Path and Micro which were asked in the recent exam which happened on 20th of January 2024. So guys, questions are purely based on what uh, people have told us. Okay? They might not be similar but uh, whatever we language we have written, we will answer according to that. Okay? Cha. Let's start with the very first question right here, sir. A patient has a fever, rash, ashkar formation. Three keywords are there. Fever, rash and ashkar. Out of them, ashkar is a main keyword right here. Uh, <clears throat> might bite is mentioned. Might is actually, we have read in the lectures also, it is related to the scrabotyphus. Scrabotyphus, rickettacea, orientia, Susu Gumashi Gumashi. Okay? So let's learn about this answer. Why this is the answer. So let's talk about the symptoms describes in, in described including the fever, rash, ishkar formation mention uh, of a mite bite are indicative of scrabotyphus caused by Orentia Susu Gamushi. Susu Gamushi. Okay? Therefore, the correct answer is B scrabotyphus. Yes. The Ashkar is a key feature in the scrap typhus, let's, uh, like we have discussed, and helps in distinguish it from the disease listed. Other disease, whatever given is anthrax, no. Uh, there is a, <laughs> anthrax, ke bhi, there is a cutaneous anthrax where you are going to see the Ashkar formation. But mite bite is a game changer right here, sir. Okay? Then uh, RMSF, no. Typhoid fever, no. Ashkar formation is not there. Coming to the other things is question number two. Sir, 14-year-old boy from Kerala. Kerala is a keyword here. Presenting with a fever, headache, drowsiness. Three features. His family report, he had a, he had consumed a palm fruit recently. So, two keywords are there. Kerala and palm fruit. Considering the geographical location, exposure, history, virus, which is that none other than your Nifa virus. As guys, remember, geographical condition is Kerala. Yes, and the history is consumer of palm fruit. Two keywords are there. Uh, is to be considered in different uh, diagnosis and that is Nifa virus. Nifa virus is known to be present in certain regions including Kerala. Can be uh, transmitted from fruit, bats to humans. Okay? With fruits contaminated by bad saliva or urine. Jo fruit pe bad, bad ta hai, saliva vagera girata hai, usse ye agar human khata hai, it can be spread it. So therefore correct answer is C, Nifa virus. Beautiful answer. Okay? Cha. Question number three, my dear friends. Question number three is all about a 45-year-old HIV-positive patient. First keyword is 45-year-old HIV-positive patient. Presenting with a headache, confusion. Gradual onset of fever is there. Lumbar puncture is performed, revealing an elevated opening pressure and a cerebrospinal fluid analysis shows the Positive Indian ink stain. Guys, remember, positive Indian ink stain is the second keywords. And according to the answer given right here is Cryptococcus neoformis. Cryptococcus neoformis is a most common cause of meningitis in the HIV positive patient. We have discussed these things in the classes. Let's read the explanation part also, my dear friends. Here the clinical presentation is a persistent headache, confusion and the gradual onset of fever in a HIV positive patient along with an uh, elevated opening pressure and positive Indian ink stain in the cerebrospinal fluid, CSF ke andar. Cryptococcal neoformin infection is a cause. Therefore, the most likely diagnosis is cryptococcal neoformins. The fungus commonly caused by cryptococcal meningitis in immunocompromised individuals such as those of HIV, suffering from HIV. So, these are the keywords which have like uh, helped us in marking the answer as cryptococcus neoformins. Now coming to the reservoir of Kala Azar. Reservoir of Kala Azar in India would be humans, my dear friends. The reservoir also <laughs> of Kala Azar, also known as Vishral Leishmaniasis, is human. Therefore, correct answer is A. Kala Azar is caused by protozoan parasite Leishmania donovanaki and is transmitted through the bite of infected sand flies. Okay, sir. Kala Azar is a koso, is a pneumonia. Kala Azar, Oriental Sore, Sand Fly Fever, Oraya Fever. Okay? So, Sand Fly ke dwara. Human serve as a primary reservoir for the parasite in the transmission cycle of the disease. So, human is a primary parasite by difference. Okay? Chal. Next is pet dog mentioned. Patient complaints of hypochondrial pain. Radio uh, radiological imaging show multi 
locular cyst within the liver guys multi locular cyst is something you have to mention is a water lily sign water lily sign echinococcus granulosus or dog day form would be the answer guys remember given the presentation of hypochondrial pain the multi locular cyst in the liver mentioned a pet dog the most likely diagnosis is echinococcus granulosus also known as dog tapeworm this parasite causes cystic echinococcus and infection typically occurs through the contact of dog feces containing the parasite eggs my dear friends clear again fanta so albendazole etc is needed to be given in the treatment part also okay sir i think albendazole चलो कैंडिडा अल्बिकेट्स ओ साइड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इस क्वेश्चन में सिक्स एडल्ट फीमेल विद द कर्डी वाइट वेजाइनल डिस्चार्ज एडल्ट फीमेल विद द कर्डी वाइट वेजाइनल डिस्चार्ज माइक्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन शोस ग्राम पॉजिटिव वर्डिंग यीस्ट सीडो हाइफेन कैंडिडा अल्बिकेट्स रिनॉर्ड्स ब्राउडीज फिन� Browdes phenomena is seen in the candidal. In candidal, guys, remember infections. There would be what, sir? Oral and vaginal white discharge. See the answers right here. Candida albicans is a common yeast that causes a vaginal candidiasis. Fungal infection of the vagina. The typical presentation includes symptoms such as curdy white vaginal discharge. Microscopic examination of the discharge often reveals gram positive budding yeast. Yes, Candida albicans is the most common causative agent for the vaginal candidiasis, my dear friends. Important word. And its identification through the microscopic examination helps in confirming the diagnosis. Other Candida species such as Candida glabrata can also cause similar infection but candida albicans is the most common culprit in case of vaginal and drug of choice in case of a candida infection would be fluconazole would be what sir your fluconazole chalo ye bhi clear ho gaya coming to the next question is plasmodium species affecting the brain guys dirk's granuloma ka naam aapne suna hoga and which is associated with the falciparum and falciparum is most common type in India. So what is written right here? Plasmodium species that is particularly known for affecting the brain causing severe cerebral malaria is falciparum. Plasmodium falciparum is associated with more severe life-threatening manifestation of the malaria including cerebral malaria which can lead to seizures, altered consciousness and coma. Dirk granuloma. Dirk granuloma image also we have seen in the classes my dear friends. Coming to the next thing is all about the eighth question. Which of the following is the primary identification made by the CBNAT? CBNAT is gene expert method and we have written this thing in the notes also guys. If it is for the MTB and the rifampicin resistance. Multi-drug resistance and rifampicin resistance we check with the help of this. Take a chalo. Question number nine. Patient with the infective endocarditis examination shows a gram positive cocci etiological agent. So, gram positive cocci, guys, answer given over here is viridians. Why it is viridians? Let's check. Streptococcus viridians is a group of alpha hemolytic streptococci that are commonly associated with the infective endocarditis. So, key word here is infective endocarditis. The characteristic presentation of gram-positive cocci in the chains align with the typical microscopy of strep viridines. Okay? These bacteria are part of normal flora of the mouth and can enter to the bloodstream causing the infection in the susceptible individual, particularly affecting the heart valve in case of endocarditis. Guys, remember, so these are the explanation, in the, uh, explanation uh, for the question asked in the exam. Now, coming to the 10th question. Yes. Patient with the meningitis, the protein is increased, glucose is normal. So, glucose is normal. CSF shows lymphocytosis. Okay, sir. What is your diagnosis, sir? It is TB. Okay, sir. It is TB, my dear friends. So, what is written right here in the explanation part? Let's read that and finish this answer. So, CSF finding of a protein which is increased, normal glucose and lymphocytosis are suggestive of viral meningitis, first thing. 
if proteins are high glucose is normal lymphocytes are high then viral meningitis rather than the bacterial bacterial ke andar there will be a low glucose migrant because bacteria loves to eat the glucose so in the viral meningitis guys lymphocytes are typically elevated glucose levels are normal given this correct option would likely to be the mycobacterium tuberculosis and cause guys remember cause is tuberculosis meningitis presenting with the csf finding mentioned above theek hai chal now second is question number 11 now path is coming micro part is done so guys a 7 year old present with the history of recurrent bacterial and fungal infection particularly involving the skin and the respiratory tract 7 year old boy the patient patient parent report that he had multiple abscess and lymphadenitis dihydro damin theek hai dihydro dihydro rhodamine guys test result shows in abnormal pattern what is the suspicion in this finding so cgd that is chronic granulomatous disease why this answer is written let's check chronic granulomatous disease is characterized by the recurrent bacterial and the fungal infection especially involving the skin and the respiratory tract first keyword match kar raha hai the presence of multiple abscess and lymphadenitis is a consistent with the chronic granulomatous disease yes the dihydrorhodamine test is usually diagnoses the chronic granulomatous disease and an abnormal pattern in this pattern shows the suspicion of cgd so cgd is a primary immunodeficiency disorder affecting the ability of phagocyte and generate reactive oxygen species leading to the impaired microbial kill impaired microbial kill microbes ko kill nahi kar pata hai jis wajah se wahan pe abscess formation dekhne ko milta hai sir aapko theek hai chal Now let's talk about the basal cell. Uh, sorry, identify the show diagram is not there. Yes, I think this is the diagram. So identify the uh, given diagram, guys. Remember, if this is a diagram, if it's showing the pearly pattern like this, guys, then the answer would be squamous cell carcinoma. Okay, squamous cell carcinoma. But uh, if the image, I'm not sure which image was given. According to this image. there will be explanation we'll read about it in the most common type of skin cancer often characterized by slow growing lesion in sun exposed area if history is given along with that of a sun exposed areas etc so basal cell carcinoma would be answer if it is not given if it is given of a opening then squamous cell would be the answer and if abnormal glands are like this then this would be the adenocarcinoma this would be what sir you are adding and and basal cell carcinoma there will be a rodent also rolled out edges would be there plus this is a malignancy which do not metastasize the malignancy which do not metastasize is basal cell carcinoma so depending on what type of image is given your answer will change according to that question number 13 a farmer has a lesion on the shoulder yes and the histopath image lesion is shown again image i am missing right here if you we'll see yes this image is correct image right here if you see the keratin pearls right here this would make a diagnosis of squamous cell carcinoma right sir this image is here right here sir now squamous cell carcinoma guys a typical skin cancer originate from the squamous cell of the epidermis it is associated with the sun exposed yes this is also sun exposed but the image is majorly changing the role right here sir now coming to the most radio resistance phase of a cell cycle again it is s radio resistance is s and the radio sensitive is g2 g2 and m phase these are the radio resistance sensitive phase theek hai chal now guys remember adult male massive splenomegaly tlc count very high immature cell shift left side which of the following is seen cml cml ke andar there will be what sir you are garden party appearances there garden party appearances there plus cml ke andar there is a balanced translocation what balanced translocation you are having my dear friends philadelphia 922 this is philadelphia which will activate a b l b c r g this will lead to what sir your tyrosine kinase activity will increase and that will lead to proliferation now in cml the drug of choice we know imatinib 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 is a drug of choice which will block the 
tyrosine kinase ka activity so this is how we have to solve this question i'm sorry the information is not uh, purely mentioned here because recall <laughs> we got like this only okay chal now coming to the next question is uh, which of the following is investigation of choice for cml chalo same question cml so detection of philadelphia chromosome balanced translocation 922 we have mentioned right here sir so this is what we have got the answer for this question coming to the question number 17 a 5 year old child present with a lesion in the right eye histopath reveals the presence of flexner vincit rosit red retinoblastoma is retinoblastoma the gene is rb1 gene chromosome is 13q14 sir so there will be cat eye pupil there will be a cortege cheese appearance there will be a flexner vincit rosit my dear friends other than that if we talk about the treatment part of this guys remember primary secondary and tertiary primary is save the life save the life why you need to save the life first because if it will metastasize it will go to the brain and that will cause death my dear friends second is save the eye aankh ko bachao tisra kya hai save the vision my dear friends so this is all about the retinoblastoma summarized very well discussed many times in the class came directly now apoptotic body comprise of first of all apoptosis guys on the dna gel electrophoresis which pattern you are going to see you are going to see what's a step ladder pattern apoptosis necrosis is absent what you will see apoptotic bodies first feature is there will be a cell shrinking chromatin condensation moment the cell is shrinking chromatin is condensated all the objects which are inside would be accumulated so what is a better answer yes include cytoplasm intranuclear plus organelles all would be accumulated this is a best answer according to the given options my difference so apoptotic bodies are membrane bound vesicles that form during the process of apoptosis okay programmed cell death which is apoptosis and guys they contain the fragments of dying cell and can include components such as cytoplasm nuclear fragment and other organelles theek okay? hai the packing of the cellular matrix help in the preventing of inflammation facilitate the removal of apoptotic cellular phagocyte so inflammation is absent so all the features are right there coming to the nets includes all except so guys remember let's talk about the explanation first nets are released by the neutrophils to trap and neutralize the microbes first thing they consist of extra cellular structure composed of dna stones and antimicrobial protein however unlike phagocytosis which involve the engulfment of the microbes by the cell net work by releasing the extra cellular structures to the physically trap and immobilize the pathogen the extra cellular structure is released so option a c and d all associated with nets sle antigen and c is fibrils are there d is involving the response to sepsis the only answer is phagocytosis which is not associated with the nets clear okay question number 20 a teenager was brought to the outpatient department with the complaints of delayed puberty and secondary sexual development yes physical examination with webbed neck widely spaced nipples this question is again well suggesting us of a turner syndrome turner syndrome guys remember it is seen in the female iq if we talk about iq is normal female iq normal wide spread nipples are there webbed neck is there abnormal menstrual function is there these all are suggestive of for say turner syndrome my dear friends coming to the next is what is the feature of turner syndrome webbed neck is the feature broad shoulder no increase height no all ulta hota hai decrease height is a feature of turner syndrome theek hai now coming to the next question 68 year old woman present with the resting tremor bradykinesia cogwheel rigidity main point sir 
consist of parkinson like disease which is a characteristic pathology uh, pathology observed in this patient's so lewy body is associated with the parkinson disease yes again a simple question simple answer nothing okay and uh, negri body is associated with the alzheimer's my dear friends tau proteins etc those are for the alzheimer but cog wheel rigidity and and uh, lewy body parkinson's ki taraf ko ishara karte hain now coming to the next sir so patient reports to the outpatient department with complaint of fatigue investigation result indicate hb 5.9 increase rdw total are tibc bada hua hai hb kam hai tibc bada hua hai hb kam hai guys remember when i fpp plus tibc bada hai baki sari cheeze kam ho rahi hai the only diagnosis is iron deficiency anemia my dear friends clear ho gaya panda chal Diabetic patient blood sample kept in the given container. What will be the added to the blood sample? Blood sample में क्या add करोगे? Sodium fluoride add करोगे. Sodium fluoride is commonly used as an anticoagulant in the blood collecting tube tube for the glucose testing. It prevent glycolysis of the glucose within the blood sample. ये glycolysis नहीं होने देता है. Thereby preserving the accurate मेजरमेंट ऑफ ग्लूकोज लेवल ग्लाइकोलाइसिस द ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ ग्लूकोज होता है इसको इनहिबिट करता है सोडियम फ्लोराइड ठीक है सोडियम फ्लोराइड ठीक है चलो नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ 28 ईयर ओल्ड वुमन विद द नोन हिस्ट्री ऑफ बीटा थैलेसीमिया अंडरगोस ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन फॉलोइंग द ट्रांसफ्यूजन शी डेवलप्स सिम्टम्स ऑफ एंजाइटी हाइपोटेंशन फीवर ठीक है सर नाउ व्हाट यू विल डू next step is stop the blood transfusion and restart after stabilization first you will stop all kuch bhi nahi karna hai aisa koi bhi question ho whenever there is a hypersensitivity reaction always first thing we have read in the lectures also we have discussed this thing first we need to stop it and first stop the transfusion then restart after the stabilization will be the answer now coming to the question number 26 method to prevent febrile non hemolytic transfusion reaction is what sir your the answer is sir leukocyte reduction guys fnhtrs are, of, are often associated with the recipient immune response to the leukocytes now guys present in the transfused blood would create a problem so leukocyte reduction involving removal of the number of leukocyte from the blood products before the transfusion might can prevent the hemolytic transfusion reaction so kya hatana hai aapko leukocyte hatane clear ho gaya funda chal this is all for the recall and thank you so much uh, wish you all the best guys